when Jesus came to earth with this beautiful message of salvation and happiness and joy and peace and gentleness 2,000 years ago, um, what he had to share was so deep and was so profound that basically he had to do most of his teachings in parables. Uh, the Holy Spirit gave him parables to share because the teachings were so otherworldly, they were so beyond what this uh, time-space world had heard ever before, or I would say since. Um, we haven't really heard the depth of that teaching, um, the full depth of it since Jesus seemed to appear and he seemed to uh, transmit these teachings from, from heaven and from absolute perfect oneness. And in the many centuries that have come after that, we've had, there's so many amazing religions, there's beautiful non-dual pathways to God, and certainly uh, I have come across many of them. But, but with the Course in Miracles, we have really, you might say, almost the complete package of, of everything, the full transmission and, and the most direct pathway to God I have ever come across. And so, in the time of Jesus, he basically put the teachings in parables. You know, there was a man who had two sons, and, and then he tells the prodigal son story. And it was a beautiful uh, sharing because he was basically teaching with the prodigal son parable that you, no matter what you think you've done in time and space, you will be welcomed home to, to eternal love and eternal oneness uh, no matter what you think you've done. No matter what you've done as you judge it good or bad, right or wrong, you have a heavenly birthright and your reality is eternity. And you are not really a creature of time and space, but you are uh, a spirit, uh, the, the living Christ that is a creation of God.